think I knew a single Chelsea fan that didn't want a striker. I don't think I know a single Chelsea fan right now that doesn't want a striker. But I'm going to give you five reasons why I don't think we're going to sign a striker. So stay tuned, stay at it, let's hit it. Welcome to the Kafkas, you guys, and I'm giving you lot five valid reasons why Chelsea aren't going to sign a striker. But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. You see this right here? This is an issue for me. I don't understand why 75% of people don't want to subscribe. How is it two and a half people out of, out of every ten are subscribing? Yo, you lot have got to step it up. Fix that for me, please. Do me a massive favor. Hit that subscribe button and let's get on with the video. All right, guys. Reason number one. Giroud's time at Chelsea looks to be extended by another 12 months. It looked like Giroud's tenure at Chelsea was all but over. Olivier Giroud was a has-been striker at Chelsea. He was the story of the past. No more future for Olivier Giroud. Injuries... And Lampard's changed his mind, so Giroud came back into the team and all of a sudden he proved himself worthy of the blue top. And he is going to be the second choice striker for next season. Links and moves to Inter Milan, Lazio, Roma all fell through. Potential free agent transfer there, it looks like it's not going to happen. Chelsea have officially extended it. We're just awaiting the confirmation. 12 months more of Giroud. What does this mean? Giroud is a fantastic backup option striker. Links play, can get goals, and is a very good leader in the dressing room. You can tell that the players respect him. He's a World Cup winner. And he has that certain current charisma in big games. For me, Olivier Giroud is always welcome to stay in my team as a backup striker. Whether it's going to be the third choice or the second choice. In my opinion, he's going to be the second choice. So let's move on to number two. Tammy Abraham proved himself to Frank Lampard. Number two. Tammy Abraham's return this year with 13 league goals in 23 games was enough to convince Frank Lampard that he is good enough to be the main man for next year. There have been statistics that have been going around that Tammy is top five in the world compared to most strikers under the age of 23 at his goal return at the moment. He is a fantastic player that needs to improve his finishing. If Tammy improves his finishing and hold up play, We've got a very good striker on our hand. The problem is, that is a massive if. I'm not personally convinced he can do so, but it's evident Lampard is, and after this new contract that has been disputed for a while, is negotiated and agreed, he is going to be Chelsea's number nine for the years to come. We need to start spreading the positivity. We need to start spreading the love, and I'm not gonna be the guy that is going to argue and complain before the season even started. Tammy Abraham, if you're going to be our number nine, I'm going to back you all the way. But you better not let me down and you better not let Frank Lampard's trust down. So let's go on to number three. Tara Martinez, who is the number one definitive option, is not available and not interested in coming to Chelsea. Inter Milan do not want to sell Lautaro Martinez. As you can see here, Hernan Crespo has come out and pleaded with Lautaro Martinez to stay for an additional three years. Lautaro Martinez is a very good player that is developing nicely at Inter Milan and he doesn't want him to rush. He doesn't want his countrymen from Argentina to rush and get into a bad situation where he's not flourishing, when his career stagnates and all of a sudden it hampers his international prospects. Argentina have not won a World Cup in a while and with Messi's days being numbered and Lautaro Martinez's development is integral for their opportunity to win the World Cup in 2022. So, Hernan Crespo is only looking out for Inter Milan and Argentina. But, what do I feel about this? Lautaro Martinez, on the other hand, has his heart set on Barcelona. As you can see, the agent came out and said, Chelsea have interested have made contact, but the player wants to move to Barcelona. It's evident. Barcelona are interested in Neymar and Martinez. And this is a stumbling block from any other club interested. Because once the player has his heart set on a club somewhere... He's going to force his agent to get the deal done no matter what happens. So, the finances need to work. But, as you can see, Messi's first option is Neymar. Lautaro Martinez is a second, second choice pawn. So, in my eyes, I think Chelsea have come to conclusions that this deal might not happen. And if it doesn't happen, it's not worth trying to go and get an alternative. That's why I think one and two are integral. Giroud and Tammy are going to be the first choice. Sadly, we need to accept it. Option number four, the market for strikers is poor. It is terrible. Jovic, unproven quantity. One good season at Frankfurt and everyone thinks he's worth the signing. I personally think he's worth the signing, but this is from Chelsea's standpoint. This is from Marina's standpoint. Is it worth the 60 million outlay on a striker that's not proven. Dembele, 
Is he all that? What do we know about him? We know he banged at Celtic. He is doing decent at Lyon. Is he worth the 70 million, 60 million outlay that it's going to take? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, a 29 to 30 year old that you're going to have to pay 300,000 pounds a week. And additionally, you're going to have to pay a and a hefty price to Arsenal because we're paying the London premium and England premium and the rival premium. So what do you lot think? You think Chelsea are going to invest into a striker in this current market when the options aren't that good? No, they want their first choice or no choice. I know it's sad and I understand. Chelsea already struggled to give players above the age of 30 a new contract. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is not an option. They're not considering it. They didn't want him under Antonio Conte. They definitely don't want him now. This is his agent spreading rumours to get Arsenal shook so they pay the money. It's simple as that. The options for strikers at this moment in time aren't good enough and we need to accept that. The club cannot be rash. We've been burnt too many times. Burnt. This bridge has been burnt with the club. They're not investing crazy money anymore. It's simple as that. And that was the number four. And number five, this is the biggest reason that no one wants to accept. Fifth and final reason why Chelsea aren't going to sign a new striker. And it's simple as this, peeps. Simple as this. COVID-19. Coronavirus has literally ruined the club's plans and finances. Any forecast they had on spending money, any income they thought was coming in, all of a sudden, as a big massive question mark. Players' values are dropping, clubs aren't going to be willing to sell, sell in this uncertain atmosphere, in this climate, where they don't know. Well, listen, 20, 20 days ago, this player was worth 120 million. How are you trying to convince me he's only worth 70 now because you don't have the means to pay? Fine, I'm not going to sell. People need to understand this transfer window is going to be the weirdest transfer window we're going to ever experience. It's going to be a transfer window where there's nothing happening. I borderline, I actually believe that. There'll be clubs that do nothing. There'll be clubs that renegotiate deals for 12 months and just wait and see what happens. Ed Woodward came out and said Manchester United need to be cautious. The days of big number signings are done. What makes you think Chelsea with our revenue schemes are going to be any different? 100% we're not. And that was the fifth and final reason, COVID-19. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really like this video and agree with me or disagree with me, comment below. Tell me, are these reasons too simple? Because I think simplistic is good sometimes. The simpler, the better picture you paint. Additionally, like that video and subscribe. I'm telling you lot, 75% of you not subscribing when you watch out, 175% don't subscribe. Is it me? Fix the thing. Come on, guys. Support the cause. Hit that subscribe button. And you know what? This was the Gaff Guys View. I'm out. Peace out.